Texas, as far as the eye can see, much like our traffic. With a montage of lifestyles, this state is famous for its pride and infamous for its droughts. Bone bleaching, dirt baking, earth splitting. Days so hot, all life is drawn to one precious thing, water. Every year, more Texans flock to the lakes to either cool down in the water or on it. Most of them will leave with good memories, but last year, 66 people didn't, lost in the very waters they sought out for comfort. Last year, we did have, uh, I believe it was three deaths on this lake during the 4th of July holiday. That's why game warden Darla Barr is here. Hi, I'm State Game Warden, just conducting water safety inspection. Man overboard. Safety inspection. It's right. called aggressive enforcement. I can't let you stay out on the water without it because it is required safety equipment. And it seems to be working. I'm not imaginary. Last Memorial Day, there were no reported deaths, a trend she hopes will ride through this fourth. But anytime you take ice, throw in some water, then add alcohol, you have a cocktail for disaster. It's basically a, a DWI, but it's on water with boats. Another problem? There's a lot of jet skis on the water these days. Fast, maneuverable, and fun. A beautiful day out here today. Personal watercraft are involved in more than half of all the accidents on water. One important thing is to have a lot of respect for your fellow boaters. Good advice, but it comes too late for the two victims who died just last month in North Texas in separate head-on collisions. Conducting water safety inspections. So if you plan to escape the heat by braving the water, there's one thing you absolutely have to remember. Just give a life jacket to everybody on board and have them hold it up. That's the easiest way to do it. Always wear a life jacket. And remember, what's really cool is to be safe and to stay alive. Bill Brown, Channel 8 News.